Hello and welcome back to the channel folks, this is your boy Stoic Warrior and for today's video is another video from World of Tanks Splits. Now for today's video we are going to be talking about the esteemed tier 10 T57 Heavy from the American Tech Tree. Yes ladies and gentlemen, the auto loader amongst the heavies and one of them, uh, I actually really, really enjoy playing this tank so let's get on with the show folks. So for our first game with the T57 Heavy, we're playing on Desert, desert Sands. Now, a few things about the T57 Heavy. This thing is an autoloader. It's got a 3-shell magazine. It takes approximately 17 to 18 seconds to reload. Depends upon your own equipment settings and whatnot. Um, plus, I am also running provisions on the tank, which also helps to improve the tank statistics. Alright, now the T57 Heavy. Uh, though it is classified as a heavy tank, it basically is more of a support line tank for other heavies. Basically why? Because this thing is not that well armored for a heavy tank. Though it has the designation of a heavy tank, it's not that very well armored. And once you've actually fired all three shots in the magazine, it's that 18 second reload. And 18 sec during that 18 second reload, enemy tanks have a lot of opportunity to actually dish out damage to this tank. Now you see, now I'm loaded back again, now I'm dishing out on that ML2. And I know, alright, ML2 has been taken out, though he did take a shot of me. Managed to damage my ammo, I had to repair that, otherwise my reload time uh, was way too high, it was approximately 30 seconds once the ammo was damaged. But one, then again, uh, what you need to do is you need to get in behind with the heavy or the support. You, you get the opportunity when, uh, for example, now that IS-7 is distracted, now I know I can punch in lead and lead upon lead upon lead on that IS-7. Now that's where, where this thing excels. It's in dishing out damage. It can't take much damage in return because even for a tier 10 heavy it's all it does not have that many hit points 2300 hit points for uh, for one of the lowest uh, hit point pool amongst the tier 10 heavies and though it it has decent armor angles but then again though yeah, those are angles and it's actually uh, not that easy to bounce off shots with this thing because uh, the dirt cheeks and the size they're pretty uh, the armor is not that great on this thing and especially uh, for uh, big tanks and tank destroyers they can actually use high explosive on this tank as well especially on the back side well not on the front but on the back side yes all right so far we're going good we've taken out four of the enemy tanks because they've only taken out two of our tanks putting on the engine booster because why not let's head towards them now this thing does not have any adrenaline booster equipped to it. Uh, well, no, no, none of the autoloaders actually have a adrenaline booster. That's why I'm actually using an engine booster on this thing, so I can get to where I want a little bit. Hello there. All right, WZ120 out. Now only the T62A is left. You better run, boy. That's T62A is in deep trouble. So one with okay. The T62A is trying to take out our T110E5. E5 took a shot at the T62A. He botched the last shot. T62A botched the last shot. Otherwise, he could have taken out the T110E5. But I was there to save the day. Well, he was already dead if I had not even reached there. M60 was already loaded and already on the other side. So that was the Mastery Class 1 with the T57 Heavy with approximately 5612 points of damage and 3 tanks destroyed. Uh, could have been a bit better, uh, could have reached for the Nace Tanker but it was not an Ace Tanker but it was still a Mastery Class 1. Mastery Class 1 is still pretty good. So. That was our first game with the T57 Heavy on Desert Sands. Now let's get on with our second game with the T57 Heavy, folks. For our second game with the T57 Heavy, we are playing on Vineyards. I actually really enjoy playing this map as a heavy tank. Now, as we were talking about the T57 Heavy, you just cannot use this tank go head to head against other heavy tanks. For example, I would not like to go against an IS-7 
head on head without any support. Why? Because there are pretty many. There are chances that you may botch a few shots in the IS-7 because the IS-7 is pretty well armored. Or, for example, an E-100, you have chances of watching up a few shots with that thing, or a VK-72, Maus, IS-4, etc. The other heavy tanks that are actually that actually do fall within the heavy designation. Why would I not actually like to go on a head-on-head one v one with those tanks? Well, because those tanks have a very slight chance of watching up their shot against the T-57 Heavy. As I've already said, this thing does not have that great armor, though it is designated as a heavy tank. Basically, it's more of a support tank for heavy tanks. It's got very good firepower, yes. That's where this thing excels. It's in dishing out damage. It's got three shots, all deal approximately an average of 400 alpha damage. So, 400 average damage with three shots, you, you get approximately, with each reload, you get approximately 1200 points of damage if you can get all three shots into the enemy tank, now that is. Otherwise, another good tactic while using the T-57 Heavy is uh, take your first shot at the enemy tracks in order to slow them down, in order to put them in position, keep them in position, and the other two, if if you're not getting a really, if the enemy tank is wiggling around and you're not getting a decent shot at them, uh, best to take out the enemy track with the first shot and then use the other two shots to dish out the dish out damage to them but you never know when things can go south now right now in this map the enemy has already taken up one of our tanks and it seems like uh, our Wolfenträger and the T-62A are in deep trouble well Wolfenträger is no longer in deep trouble because he has been executed sadly and right now I'm actually confused as to where to okay there's the T-95B6 to one shot at him and the shell within shell reload time between the, the shells is two and a half seconds that's that is one of the fastest uh, one of the fastest uh, shell within shell reload time of any autoloader as well on average most uh, autoloaders have a three second delay before they can fire their second shell their subsequent shell within the magazine but not with the T-57 this thing has a two and a half second uh, shell within shell delay. Okay, that P-75 managed to take a good shot at him. Take a few shots at him. Okay, missed the third shot at him. But did get two good shots at the T-75. Uh, apart from this, only the FV-4005, the British Tier 10 tank destroyer, has two and a half seconds of subsequent shell reload, but only when it is using the fat uh, only when it uses the consumable it has. Okay, the Leopard PDA got a mighty mean high explosive shell at the back. Ooh, he got melted. Now, right now, the enemy team has taken out three of our tanks. Okay, correction, four of our tanks. Because we've only taken out two of the enemy tanks. Now, we are in a bit of a situation. They, they have us outnumbered. Now, I have... Taken two good shots at the T-62A and another shot at the E-75. The E-75 missed its shot towards me. Now I'm again, once again, on reload. Now they've got three tanks that are approximately at one shot. Well, the OBJ-268 is at full, and the I well now the OBJ-268 is no longer at full health. And the IS-7 is a bit below half health. The T-62A trying to flank. Okay, I botched my first shot. Might knock by the grill. The grill took out the T-62A. Where are you running, OBJ-268? Take two shot. Nice shot with the grill. He's taken out the E-75 as well. Now, we have the numbers advantage over them. Now, there are only two tanks left. Now, well, we are three. They first had the numbers advantage over us, but now it's us who has the number advantage over them. And look, our IS-7 also wrote <laughs> what kind of an attack was that. They had the upper hand. Okay, the T-95E-6. Okay, the IS-7 got a good shot at me. Now I am in a critical situation. I don't want to take a shot with the D95B6, though it, it also has a 400 alpha roll damage, but I actually want to preserve my health. He got a shot at me. I'm barely left with 28 points of health, but I know he's on reload, so I can go in and take a shot at him. And the D95B6 is not that well armored for a heavy tank as well. 
especially on the chassis, but the turret is well armored from the front. You can't actually bend that turret, but it has that one top fuel on top of it. That's a weak point on the D95 V6, but anyways, the D95 V6 is history, and now so is going to be the IS-7. The IS-7 is now completely surrounded. Okay, the IS-7 took out the grill was going out. He was like, I'm taking out at least one tank before I go out. Another good game with the D57 Heavy, though at first this game seemed like we were almost about to lose. It was a Mastery Class 1 along with 6142 points of damage with two tanks destroyed. Our IS-7 also did a really great job with 4048 points of damage and three tanks destroyed. Had I taken out one or two more tanks? Had I gotten one or two more tank kills, this could have been easily an ace tanker game as well. Anyways folks, this was an impressive game and I really enjoy playing the T-57 Heavy. Though, it has somewhat, it has a bit of, you know, downsides to it. That, like, it's called a Heavy, but not that heavily armored as a Heavy as some of the Heavies out there. That's going to be all for today's video folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like and comment down in the section below. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more weekly content and if you want to check out more content from me either regarding Apex Legends, Halo, Titanfall etc and whatnot, uh, make sure to check out my Instagram, I'll leave the link down in the description below and once again, peace out.